Hi friends, today's interview question is with respect to DB2 date calculations. So the questions basically looks like how do you find last date for a given date or last date for a current date? Uh, also, last date for a pre uh, last date of previous month with respect to current date or given date. First date of previous month with respect to current date or given date. So these type of questions we will get in the interviews. So let's start with basic. Uh, basic question and then we will move to a little bit complex not more complex like a little complex okay so to find the last date with respect to current date to achieve this basically we will use uh, uh, last date uh, in db2 last date is something which is internal uh, function with respect to db2 so apart from last date we are also using current date okay so Current date basically refers, uh, gives us the current system date. So with respect to current system date, we need to find the last date. So we were using sys IBM, sys dummy. These are the DB2 catalog tables to pull this current date or last date with respect to a given date. Okay. So the, so the query looks like uh, select last date of current date. The current date will give current, uh, current system date from sys ibm sys dummy one so once we get the current date uh, for example 06032023 as current date so with respect to current month and current year it will try to find the last date of given date so with respect to current date the last date will be 31st march so we will get 31st march uh, 023 as uh, result to this query basically this is the to find last date with respect to current date so next question is to find the first date with respect to current date. So when we see this example, last date with respect to current date, even in this uh, area also, we can give any random date uh, with respect to uh, any given date. In that scenario also, it will try to pull the last date with uh, respect to a given date. So coming to to find the first date of a given, given, uh, given date or a current date, uh, the query looks like select last date current date minus one month. So current date one minus one month, the result will be basically today's date minus one month. For example, today's date is 0603-2023. So minus one month will be, it will be 0602-2023. So February 6th, it is referring. So once we get that with respect to February and 2023, it, it will try to pull the last date. So with respect to February in 2023, the last date will be 28th. So what it is doing, 28th date of February plus one day. So once we add this one day, uh, to 28 the date will come to first march to uh, 2023 so that would be the output basically we are trying to find the first date with respect to current date if you want instead of current date for any given date you can give replace this current date for any given date so in that case also it will try to fetch the the first date of a given date okay so the next question is to find the last date of a previous month with respect to current date as input so here we have seen current date minus one month plus one day. Okay. Uh, so that is how we find the first day of current for a given current day. Uh, coming to this question to find the last date of previous month. So previous month is basically without this adding plus one. So if you look at here, same answer, we will see uh, the extra portion we got is plus one day. So if you remove that one day, we will get the last date of previous month select a last date current date minus one month so current last date will always give last date with respect to a given date so here what we are doing current date minus one month so current date is march uh, uh, 0603 2023 so we are when we are doing minus one month it will subtract one month from the given date so we'll get 0602 2023 so with respect to that we are trying to get the last date so with respect to last date, what we will get? We'll get 28.02.2023 as an answer. So that is the basic. We can replace even this current date with any random date given by the interviewer. That is what with respect to, to find the last date with respect to previous, with respect to current date or a given in, input, okay? Now coming to, to find the previous month first date with respect to current date. 
so when we see pre uh, to pull the first date of current month what we seen current date minus one month plus one day coming to here select last date of current date minus two set two months basically instead of one month we are doing two months so let's say for example 0603 2023 is current date when we do minus two months means it will go to 0601 january 2023 so we will get that date here with respect to january what is the last date we will get 31st as last date once we get 31st january as last date we are adding one day to it so when we add that one day to the the result we will get february 1st 2023 as the answer so to find the previous month first date of current date we got the previous month first date so till now we seen current current month first date of, uh, and uh, current month last date previous month first date and previous month last date so if we want previous uh, next month first date or next month last date basically instead of plus we will use instead of minus we will use plus sign that is the basic difference so to find the first date of next month so what we have seen select last day of current date this will give this month's last date that is 31st 03 2023 we are adding one day one day to it so we will get next month first date basically 0104 2023 if you want uh basically the last date is we generally give plus one here and remove this one day so you will get that last date of the next month that's it friends we'll meet with a new question in the similar lines with respect to date uh, calculations tomorrow thank you